So guys, first we're going to install VirtualBox. If you already have VirtualBox, then just head over to the timestamp which I'll leave down below. So to install VirtualBox, just head over to any web browser and then just type in VirtualBox. Then we're going to go to this website, Oracle VM VirtualBox. I'll also leave a link to it down below in the description. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on Download VirtualBox. And then you want to select your operating system. So I've got Windows, I'm just going to click on Windows Host. And then the download will begin. So now it's been downloaded, we're just going to click on it. And then click on yes. Now we're going to click on next again. I'm going to leave all of this unticked and you can choose your location. I'm just going to keep it on my C drive. Click on next and then click on yes. Click on yes again and then click on install. Now it's installing. Now once you're on this, I've got start Oracle VM VirtualBox ticked. Now I'm going to click on finish and it should start up. Now I have this open of all my VMs, but I'm just going to install Windows 11 now. So I'm going to head over to my web browser and then type in Windows 11 ISO. Then I'm going to click on the first one by Microsoft. I'm going to leave a link to this down below in the description as well. Now once we're on this website, we're just going to scroll down till we see download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Then we're going to select the download Windows 11 and then click on download. Now you want to choose your language. So I'm just going to do English and then click on confirm. And now you can just download it right here. This will take a while. Now I have it downloaded onto my desktop, but first I'm just going to head over to search and type in task manager. Click on it. Now you want to click on performance and then click on CPU and you want to make sure that virtualization has been enabled. Now the way to enable it is by going into the BIOS and then enabling it. It's going to be different for everyone's motherboard, but I'm going to show you a previous video that I posted on my channel on how to enable it. But it might be different on your motherboard, but the steps are going to be similar. I'm going to play the video right now. If you already have this enabled, then you could just skip to the timestamp, which I'll leave down below. So guys, the first thing we need to do is we need to restart a computer. As the computer is restarting, you want to spam the delete key on your keyboard. Just keep on spamming it. That screen will appear and then spam delete, which will take you to here. Now your BIOS might look something like this. So you need to click on F2 on your keyboard, which will change it into this. And then you want to head over to peripherals on the top. And then next to AMD CPU FTPM, you want to double click on it. And then you want to make sure that this is enabled. And then you want to click on save and exit and then save and exit setup. And then click on yes. And then you're done. So guys, once you've done that, we're going to head over to search and type in VirtualBox. Click on it. Now, once you're on this, we're going to add the Windows 11. So now you want to click on new. And then you want to give it a name. So I'm just going to type in Windows 11 Tutorial. And now you want to select the folder that hosts the virtual machine. So I'm going to click on the arrow and then click on other. And I made a folder for myself. So it's on my E drive and I have it right here, VirtualBox VMs. And I click on select folder. And now you want to select the ISO image, the one that we downloaded. I'm going to click on the arrow again and then click on other. I have the Windows 11 ISO on my desktop, but I've also got a separate folder for myself, which contains all my ISO, so I'm just going to use that. If you want, you could just create a separate folder in File Explorer, and then you could just add the ISO into it, like how I've done. So now you want to select your ISO, so for me it's in this folder, then I'm going to click on Windows 11, and I have it right here. And now you can choose your edition, so I'm just going to do Windows 11 Pro, then I'm going to click on Next, and you can choose your username for your account, I'm just going to type in Tutorial and then just set any password you want. Now you can do the host name as well. I'm just gonna type in win11 tutorial. Make sure that the green tick appears and then click on next. Now you wanna select how much RAM and cores that you wanna to give to your virtual machine. So I have a decent amount of RAM, I've got 32 gigabytes and I wanna give it eight gigabytes. So I'm gonna type in 8192. If you wanna do four gigabytes, you could just do 1024 times four. If you want to do 6 gigabytes, you can do 1024 times 6, etc. And I've got 16 cores, so I'm just going to give this 4 cores. That should be enough for Windows 11. And then click on next. Now you can decide how much storage that you want to give. This is virtual storage. It's not going to actually take out the storage from your host computer, unless you want it to. Now you can click on next. Now once you select that, you can click on next. And then click on finish. And now this should appear. It's going to power up your VM. Now once you boot up Windows 11 for the first time in your virtual machine, you might encounter some errors, but I'm going to show you how to fix all of them. So if you're getting this error, you want to click on the arrow right here, and then click on other. 
and then you want to select where your ISO is. So here's my Windows 11 ISO, you just want to select it. And then click on mount and retry boot. Now most likely, this might not even fix the problem. So if a new error comes again, I'm going to show you what to do. But click on enter, which will then start your VM. And let's see if this works or not. Now hopefully by doing that, your virtual machine should be working now. But in my case, it's not working and it might be the same for you. So now if you have the second error, we're just going to click on OK. And then we're just going to close this out. And then you're going to power off the machine and click on OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our Windows 11 VM and then we're going to click on settings. And now we're going to click on system. And then you want to uncheck floppy. Uncheck this and then click on OK. Now once you do that, we're going to right click on our Windows 11 VM again and then click on settings. And now we're going to click on advanced. And now you want to take a note of your snapshot folder. So you want to head over to search and type in file explorer. Click on it. Then I'm going to add in file explorer. And now you just want to go to this path. So for me personally, it's on my E drive. VirtualBox VMs, and then my Windows 11 test, which I made earlier. And then you're going to click on your Windows 11 VM, and you're going to have a bunch of files in here. You want to delete every single file that says unattended on it. So I'm just going to highlight all of this, and then delete all of this. Delete all the files which say unattended on it. Now we can just close out this, click on OK, and now we can just start up our VM. Click on Start, and then this should fix the problem. If you get this error again, you want to click on the arrow and then you want to select your Windows 11 ISO again and then click on mouse and retry boot. Click on any key, which will then boot your VM. Click on any key again. And as you can see, it's now working. So now you can just click on next and you can just install Windows 11. And then that's how you do it.